now it's time to begin work on your audience analysis. Let's take a look at the document. For our audience analysis, we are looking at the best audience possible for your speech. Audience analysis is very vital when you're preparing a speech because you really need to know who's my target audience, who's going to be there when I give this presentation, who um, will be listening, and so how can I target my information to best fit those people who will be showing up. So say, for instance, that you were speaking about um, nursing homes and nursing home care. You might want to think about, okay, am I talking to people who are actually in a nursing home already? Or am I talking to people who are older adults who will be putting their parents in nursing homes? The information that you use for one or the other may be different. So if I'm talking to current nursing home patients, I might just give updates of the new things that are happening in nursing homes and the different services available to them and different ways that they can um, deal with being in the nursing home. But if I'm talking to older adults who might be putting their parents into nursing homes, I then would be telling them the features and the cost and how um, to go about putting the parents into the nursing home. So analyzing your audience is very, very vital. So for our audience analysis for this course, you are considering you're giving your speech to an actual audience. Now we're not talking about our classmates. We're saying if you can give a speech to the best audience ever for your topic. So like I said, the nursing home information. I'm not thinking I would be giving this topic to teenagers or to children or to 20 year olds, right? So we have to think what would be my best audience? So it says, if you were speaking to an audience on your topic, what would be your most desirable or who would be your most desirable audience for this topic? What traits would be most desirable? Please be specific and select a group. I know most speeches are great for a wide range of demographics, but I want you to narrow. So for most topics, you can talk to anybody about them, but narrow it down to what you think would be best for your topic. So refrain from noting all groups. What you must do, you have a list of items down here, a list of demographics. You have demographics, you have psychographics, age range, education, occupation, marital status. There's a variety of them down here. You only need to pick seven of the topics below and answer the questions. You will write one to three sentences for your seven topics or subtopics, including why you have chosen that range or type, and be very descriptive and clear on who it would be within that range or type. Some of these areas can be for anyone. For example, if you give a speech about how to save money, that can apply for young, old, teens, middle adults, older adults, even elderly. If that is the case, I suggest selecting, not selecting the topic of age range. Some areas that are more specific, such as how to check for prostate cancer, then you might select the age range. There's a certain specific age range that fits that prostate cancer. So again, from the A and B, a combination of A and B, you will choose seven that work perfectly for your topic. And then you tell us who. So if I pick age range and I'm talking about prostate cancer, I will say men from 40 to 60 years old. Those are the men who should get checked for prostate cancer. So prostate cancer is great within that age range. If I'm talking about a speech on Kobe Bryant, any age range can talk about Kobe Bryant, so I might not pick that one. I might go down to habits, someone who's athletic and who it loves to be outside and do sports, a hobby, 
They might really, really enjoy playing basketball and enjoy playing different sports. Personality, a happy-go-lucky personality, just like Kobe Bryant's. Notice I'm picking those that fit best for the Kobe Bryant. Age range is so vast and could be anyone, and I'm not choosing that because I can't specify or narrow. So this is how you do your audience analysis. 